been this moment your whole life, so you can argue with a nigga on Clubhouse. You you keep letting all these Chicago niggas boost your head up like y'all niggas ain't dying in real life, man. Stop playing. Then that sounds like a few niggas I know from the right. All right, bro. So you saying y'all undefeated on that side? Y'all ain't took no loss. Man, every nigga that we beef with, nigga, thirty of they niggas get smoked, nigga, and don't nothing happen to us, nigga. In real life, nigga, it's real life, nigga. Man, hey, hey, look, Cap, you from Chicago? I advise you to shut the fuck up. I advise you to shut the fuck up, cause the niggas that I fuck with out there spanking shit. So stop playing. Y'all ain't spanking nothing, nigga. That's the only thing y'all ever do. That's one nigga. All right, how many? Hey, look. All right, look. All right, look. You would die. You would die, nigga. You would die. You would die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big baby JTV. Like, comment, sub. Likes for comment, sub. I'm going to put the video at the beginning. Of course, my channel ain't getting monetized. So, yes, I can put square words in the beginning of my videos. <laughs> but y'all help your boy get monetized, man. Subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to reach that 1K. Like the video. Now, I'm a fan of 21 Savage, man. I'm a fan of 21 Savage. Um, you know, he has just been, you know, in a situation where, uh, you know, he was out of character. Or you could say he was in character, right? Because 21 Savage was snapping at certain dudes on Clubhouse, right? And as weird as it sounds, follow my logic, I'm happy that it was on Clubhouse. Why do I say that? Because he wasn't in the goddamn hood. He wasn't in the trap having this type of argument. Because when he, if he's a famous rapper as he is, as big as he is, Having, you know, a song, not even a song, a whole mixtape with Drake, okay? Having multiple, multiple platinum tracks, you know what I mean? A lot. Remember that song, the one that he did with Drake? One of the hottest, most deep, impactful songs. This dude has a lot to lose, no pun intended. My guy... I'm happy that you're on Clubhouse arguing with dumb niggas, but you're better than that. You're better than that. See, less than two months ago, Takeoff got killed. Why? Because of an argument between niggas over a dice game. Over a dice game at 3 a.m. in the morning, right? And we lost a really impactful rapper, right? Nipsey Hussle got killed because he accurately called a rat a rat and that rat ended up going to the corner getting a blicky and kill, ending his life that's what happened right now of course there's conspiracies that certain p individuals might have encouraged that rat to do those moves but if we just look at it from a logical point of view we have to understand that when we reach a certain level as individuals, especially as black people, and this is for me, man, my channel, I talk about black power, black empowerment. You better get used to it. When we as black folks, right? And you know what? I, I'm extending this to all people in general. When you reach a certain level, you don't be kicking it with the people who have less to lose than you. Okay? You don't kick it with certain individuals who are not on your level of whatever it would be, wealth, intelligence, or anything. You kick it with people who are above you and are going to elevate you and uplift you. Why are you 21 Savage spending all that time on Clubhouse? See, I understand why WAC 100 is spending all that time in Clubhouse because he's a weird, lame-ass nigga. I have no respect for WAC 100, right? But if you are 21 Savage and you got real things to lose, you have real enemies, right? You have real ops, why are you on Clubhouse making it easier for the police to get you, right? Young Thug is fighting for his life in court right now, right? Over a RICO trial, the YSL RICO trial. They want to end him. They want to literally get King Slime. They've told you what they want to do. You think they won't hesitate to pull out Slaughter Gang and 21 Savage? And you're making this case easier for them. See, if you're a real gangster, they move in silence like lasagna. Shouts out to Lil Wayne. If you're smart and intelligent, which I know the 21 Savage is, 
He shouldn't be doing that, bro. You should not be doing that. We've seen so many examples recently in hip hop. If you really bout it, bout it, you keep it silent. You know what I mean? If you really bout it, bout it, you keep it cryptic, you keep it, keep it silent. Let me tell y'all something, man. There is a literal drug war happening in uh, Mexico right now with multiple cartels fighting each other. Do y'all know even the names of these cartels? No, because why? These cartels went underground. They saw Pablo Escobar get killed and all the debacle happened to him. <laughs> a lot of drug dealers saw what happened to, to, to Freeway Ricky Ross. <laughs> they saw what happened to Griselda Blanco. Let me tell y'all something, man. If you're a real gangster, you keep it low key. People don't, shouldn't even know who you are. And also, if you're a famous rapper, you should not be gang gang. And it doesn't matter what people say. Let me tell y'all something, man. As much as we want to critique Gunna and, and, and go off on him, I expected him to snitch because Gunna is an artist. 21 Savage, you're also an artist. Keep that framework. You don't want the feds looking at you. And for him spazzing out on Clubhouse like that, unfortunately, I will say it's good that it's online. <laughs> Let's start off with that. And it's not in person. But it's bad. For the feds, because the feds are watching. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below, man. Woo. 2121. I'm out.